reaching out to me. A lot of times you don't know. People just need to be talked to because they could be going off. And we all got to step it up to follow what it says. It's a sacrifice, but we have to do it. We all in this together. That's why the book's going to be open. And what we have done in these mortal bodies is going to come forth. I mean, you hear, some of you hear all the time. You're on a conference call. You know, I remember when I used to be on the internet a lot, they would have people that would come, they would invite people to their home, and they would get it just like they getting it. They would invite people to their home. They'd be at home, be a lot of people there. They just, just like a lot of the different churches do that. They have like, and like say like if I was on live stream, they could have the, the live stream up on the TV, whatever, and they could they could see it just like they there there with the congregation. There's many ways that we can, you know, enlighten the uh, the people to come into the truth, the learning. They have you know refreshments and all that. Just like they go to church. I mean, it's on the Sabbath. Many ways that we can do this, well, rather than just you know. Don't think of anything. Don't do anything but just think of ourselves. This ain't about us. It's about somebody else. That's why I say gather together. Oh, nation not desire. Go back to Zephaniah 2 and 1. Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yeah. Gather together, O oh, nation, not desire. See, we're a nation that's not desire. That's why we got to gather ourselves together. You know, you call men, and you call men, women going to come too. And they got a job to do too. Like the older women, because we're teaching the younger women. You see, how to, how to deal with a lot of things that these women don't know. You'd be surprised. And some of, some of the women that's not as older, no more than some of the, the women that's old, what do you know about? You're supposed to be teaching the, the, the ones certain things, how to take care of their bodies and so forth. How to deal with, you know, being married to a man and what they're supposed to do in being married. Yeah. Uh, Go ahead. <laughs> if that's all right. Uh, Titus 2 and 2, 3. The aged woman likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things, that they may Go ahead. That they may teach the young woman to be sober. That's right. See? That's what it's all about. So as we as we're moving in the direction of the kingdom, these are the things I said. This is he did, did he say think about doing this? No. This is your obligation. You know, because the most high man is dealing with men. That's why he called it men. We men doing this. We working with each other. You know, we 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 you know iron sharpening iron. We we sharpening each other. You know what I mean? But the women, what are you doing? You're supposed to be doing this. Very important. Read all verse 4. Titus 2 and 4. That they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. It's like I was saying, you know, this is what the older women are supposed to be doing. And those that are older than someone else. Well, these young girls don't know nothing about how to follow this order. Read. To be discreet. To be discreet. Ready? Chase. Chase. Come Keep, on. Keepers at home. Keepers at home. Knowing how to take care of their home. Ready? Good. Good. Meaning following the most high's commandments. Ready? Obedient to their own husbands. Obedient to their own husbands. Oh, that's a big one right there. <laughs> 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 Obedient to their own husbands. Go ahead. That the word of the Most High be not blasphemed. You hear that? That the word of the Most High, if you don't be obedient to your husband, that the word of the Most High be not blasphemed. Did you understand <laughs> that that's the only sin that's unforgivable blasphemy of the Holy Spirit? Is the only sin that the word of the Most High be not blasphemed. 
<laughs> That's yeah. serious. This is really serious, y'all. That's why I say it's, it's a lot of work for everyone. It's not, you know, because I look at, people are looking at the teachers and those that are out there teaching, but what about yourself? When it comes to this, because we come to the women, can we say you fulfilling this? You doing this? Or oh, how many young women are you doing? As far as teaching them what he said you're supposed to be doing here. And you look at doing this, then next thing you know, you don't have so much time to be trying to critique the men of the most side that's trying to do this work and doing this work. Because you have a job to do too. Everybody have a job. This is everybody has we a nation. Like I say, gather together, old nation not desire. This is real. Go back to Zephaniah 2 and 1. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yeah, gather together, O nation not desire. Go ahead. Before the decree bring forth. You hear that before the destruction come forth. We got to gather together as a nation. Not as just uh, men or just women or just children. No, as a nation, men, women, and children. Read. Before the day pass as the chaff. Before the day pass as the chaff, man. That's just the part of the week you don't even deal with. Go ahead. Before the fierce anger of the Most High come upon you. Get that before the fierce anger of the Most High come upon you. Read. Before the day of the Most High's anger come upon you. Before the day of the Most High's anger come upon you. This is serious, y'all. I don't know how you're going to make it out of it. Read. Seek ye the most high, all ye meek of the earth. So he says, seek ye the most high, all ye humble. Those that are humble, that will be meek of the most high. Read. Which have wrought his judgment. Which have wrought his judgment. Only one that wrought his judgment is the Israelites. Point blank. Get that in Psalms 147, 19 and 20. We the ones that brought his, that wrought his judgment. Only us. Psalms 147, verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. See? So he showed his statutes and his judgment unto Jacob. His word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgment unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any other nation. So these other nations have not known the law, such commandments of the Most High. Just, we just read in the end how uh, enemies are going to be beheld us going up in salvation. They're going to say, as for the way of the Most High, the way of Mashiach of Shai, we have not known it. Period. That's why I say he have not brought forth the judgments that he gave to us. These other nations don't know it. They don't know it. Praise you, the Most High. See? They don't know anything about that. Go back to Zephaniah. Zephaniah 2 and 3. Seek ye the most high, all ye meek of the earth, which have brought his judgment. Yeah, that's who brought the judgment, the children of Israel, 12 tribes of Israel, read. Seek righteousness. Seek righteousness. How you seek righteousness? By following the laws of the most high, read. Seek meekness. Seek meekness. He's telling you to seek meekness. He says, this is talking to who? Seek ye the most high, all ye meek of the earth. He tells us to seek more humility. Read. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the most high's anger. He would say, it may be. It's a possibility that you might be hid in the day of the most high's love. Anger. Joy. Anger. Happiness. Anger. He said, you might be hid in the day of the Most High's anger. And hopefully you might you want to be hid. And what we read in, uh, in Isaiah 26 and 20, when he said, hey, come into the chambers. You want to be hid. That the indignation overpass. And that you might be hid from the wrath of the Most High that we read about when we go into the wilderness. See? When that judgment come down. You want to be hid from his anger because you're going to be doing what he say do. 
and said, Come, my good servant, enter into the kingdom. <laughs> and let me teach you of the most high's ways. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. We got to learn. We, gotta, we have to learn. Look at uh, Luke 17 and 3 and 4. Luke 17, St. Luke 17 and 3. Take heed to yourselves. If thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him. And if he repent, forgive him. See? He said, if your brother, first he said, take heed to yourself. You know, do a self examination of yourself. So if your brother trespass against thee, rebuke him. You know, tell him what he's done. He gave an order how we do things too. And if he repent, if he asks for forgiveness, he said, forgive him. So okay, I was wrong. Forgive me. You know, it's like a lot of times, you know, and then it tells you, you know, you can suffer wrongfully. Sometimes, you know, you know you ain't done anything wrong. You still can apologize. Is there going to be any forgiveness? Therefore, if you don't, then you're not giving that brother mercy and grace. Well, the Most High gave us all mercy and grace. Mercy and grace come to Israel, but you don't want to give them mercy and grace. But you won't make it to the kingdom. <laughs> And you to move the most high mercy and grace aside and you determine that no mercy and grace coming to him. Because you decide that. <laughs> he said if he asks you to forgive him, you got to forgive him. Read. And if he trespass against thee seven times in a day, and seven times in a day turn again to thee, saying, I repent, thou shalt forgive him. Ooh, that's deep. That's deep right there. <laughs> <laughs> But look what they say. Look, look at the apostles said behind him saying that to him. Read it, read, read the next verse. And the apostles said unto the most unto Mashiach, increase our faith. <laughs> 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 hey look. So you see that it's a hard thing to do. <laughs> it was, hey man, hey, increase our, our faith. We can believe this, man. We can't believe, this cat gonna come against me seven times in a day and say, I'm sorry, he doing that. All he gotta do is do something wrong, you gotta forgive him. <laughs> Cause you know, that's gotta be Israel. Right. You should be doing stuff, wicked stuff to you, then they say, hey, man, I'm sorry, man. I got they look at all it. Like I said, just man fought him seven times and rises up again. They use that in a minute. <laughs> but they come against you, they say, hey man, I, I hey man, I, I apologize, man. I'm sorry I did that. Well, you got to forgive me, man. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's why the Bible say, hey, increase our faith. <laughs> Make us believe this, man. I can't believe this. Since you say this to us. Go ahead. <laughs> Verse 6. And Amashiach said, if ye have faith as a grain of, a, of mustard seed. And that's a very, very small seed that could fit under your nail, read. Right? You might say unto this sycamine tree, Be thou plucked up by the root, and be thou planted in the sea, and it should obey you. Woo! Hmm. <laughs> Man. That sounds like an impossibility, right? But all things are possible with the most high. Nothing is possible with the most high. Go ahead. <laughs> but which of you having a servant plowing or feeding cattle will say unto him, will say unto him, by and by? When he has come, when he has come from the field, go and sit down to meet, and will not rather say unto him, Make ready, whither, wherewith I may sup, and gird thyself, and serve me, till I have eaten and drunken, and afterward thou shalt eat and drink. See, that's like when he come out from the field and worked hard. When he come in, you say, Hey, now you got to go in there and cook the food and get get everything ready and serve me. Then what you did, what you got to do for me, then you can go and eat. Go ahead. And doth he thank that servant because he did the things that were commanded him? I trow not. So likewise ye, when ye shall have done all those things which are commanded you, say, we are unprofitable servants. We have done that which was our duty to do. Here. See? It's your duty to do this, he's saying. And that's how you come back to the love of your brother. To be right, because I mean that's what it's all about. 
we we talking about making it to the kingdom of certain certain things that we got to come together with within ourselves that we know that what is written we have an opportunity to make it to the kingdom the new jerusalem come down streets are paved in gold and uh a condition that's beyond our imagination that we can't even imagine because we in the concrete jungle paper machete walls and so forth <laughs> we, i mean it's it is what it is, y'all. We can't even imagine the kingdom that's going to be sent down from heaven and how the Most High going to have this place built up for everlasting life. Everybody messing around, playing around, man. This is serious as can be. Where you going to be at? You know? Get a... Uh, Go up to uh, Luke 17, 26. Luke 17 and 26. We're going to end this just the way we started it. Read. And, and, <clears throat> and as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. That's right. As it was in the day of Noah, going back before when Noah was building that ark, so shall it be in the day of Mashiach Yahushai. Go ahead. They did eat, they drank, they married wives. They were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. See that? He let you know. Just like the most had destroyed them all, you destroy a whole lot of people, man. That's what he said. And as it was in the days of Noah, verse 26, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. He said, and destroyed them all. Come on. But the same, oh, select me. 28. Likewise also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven, and destroyed them all. We done talked about this fire and brimstone today. It's gonna come like a thief in the night. Well, all the elements gonna be dissolved. Everything, every atom, every protein, pro, excuse me, proton and, and neutron gonna be dissolved. Go ahead. <clears throat> but the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. And that day, he which shall be upon the housetop and his stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. That's right. You ain't gonna be able to go back and get anything. It's about moving and you gotta be a mover and shake at this time. You slow walking, we're trying to, that's what I say, you're trying to figure out what's gonna happen. You're gonna give order to, to, to make a move. You better be make a move, Read. <clears throat> Remember Lot's wife. Yeah, she looked back, and what happened? She turned to a pillow of salt, and we still have her ruins right to, to, to this day. Go ahead. Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it, and whosoever shall, shall lose his life shall preserve it. See? For what? For this truth. Go ahead. I tell you, in that night there shall be two men in one bed. The one shall be taken, and the other shall be left. That's right, man. And that night, let you know, it's going to be at night. It's going to come at night. There should be two men in one bed. The one shall be taken, the other shall be left. And they ain't talking about no homosexual thing either. Right. Righteous men, read. Two men, or two women shall be grinding together. The one shall be taken, and the other left. Then you know, hey, everybody ain't, this ain't for everybody. If it's for everybody, why is one going to be taken one going to be left? It's not for everyone, B. Two men shall be in the field, the one shall be taken and the other left. Two men going to be out there in the world, whatever they're doing. One going to be taken and one going to be left. Go ahead. And they answered and said unto him, Where are Mashiach? And he said unto them, Whatsoever the body is, thither will the eagles be gathered together. See that? Wherever the body is, that's where the egos be gathered together. Where is the body mostly at? Right here in North Central and South America. 